Now to the district where the Republican-led House is once again taking aim at overturning a local D.C. law. Yeah, several weeks ago, Congress, with the approval of President Biden, blocked the district's new criminal code from taking effect. Moments ago, the House voted to overturn a police reform bill that's been in effect for more than two years. Republicans claim the law is soft on crime and hinders police from making arrests. Democrats argue the law is similar to federal legislation already in effect and Congress should not interfere in local matters. Crime is clearly out of control in our nation's capital. The council's anti-police law creates undue burdens on the MPD. Reversing the D.C. government on this local matter is outrageous interference by Congress to impose a bad public policy on the capital city. News 4's Mark Seagraves joins us now. He's been covering the back and forth between Congress and the district for many years. Mark, uh, we just had the news come in that the House overturned this. Are you surprised? What are your thoughts on this? And where do Democrats stand? I'm not surprised at all that okay. this is how it went because this is a Republican-led House. This has happened before now with, with two other laws, the crime bill, which they successfully overturned, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, and then a law that would have allowed uh, 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 non-citizens to vote in elections. The House also overturned that, but that never made it to the Senate. So the House has overturned this with the help of 14 Democrats. It's notable that 14 Democrats joined Republicans mm -hmm. in this vote today. Now we'll have to wait and see if the Democratic Senate mm -hmm. brings this up for a vote at all. They may not. We'll just have to wait and see. But even if they do and Republicans were to prevail there, President Biden has issued a statement of administration policy saying that if it gets to his desk, mm -hmm. he will veto it. So it looks like this is not, despite the Republicans' success today, this in the long term is not in jeopardy. Well, here's the thing that may have some people scratch their heads. This measure was originally passed two years ago. That's right. So why More are they coming two, back yeah. to it now? Because the district government is allowed to pass uh, legislation on an emergency basis that does not require congressional approval. All permanent D.C. laws require congressional approval. So in 2020, when this law was first enacted, it was passed on an emergency temporary basis, and they continued that for more than two years until just most recently passing it on a permanent basis. Now it requires that 60-day congressional review period. Just that little technicality. Oh, yeah. All right. <sighs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what's next mm -hmm. with all of this. All right. All Mark right. Thanks, Mark. Great to have you yeah. in here. Thanks, Mark. Thank